Hello boys and girls and welcome to Sweden. We're at this wonderful studio at this fantastic place called Hobo Rec Studios where my man Ulf is recording a lot of evil music. And today we're gonna record drums together because Ulf has a very special way of capturing really great and vibey and dirty room sounds with his drums. We're gonna use some unique microphones. We're gonna use some very special techniques. We got a big ass analog console, a lot of outboard gear and a great live room. That means we will have a lot of fun. Let's record some dirty sounding drums. Here we go. So what are we about to do? Tell me, tell them. Okay, short story is I, when I started working at the live room, it's really big here, but it's also very, very acoustic controlled. So it's kind oh, of dry. dry sounding. Yeah, so you're gonna hear it later. Uh, so I was kind of disappointed when I put room mics out there, uh, but I figured out that when I, when using the, one of the ISO rooms, which actually has uh, tile floors, and a brick wall, right? Brick wall, and you have some glass walls you can fold out and back. So when you close everything there, it's kind of really slammy and dirty. So I started putting uh, room mics on the floor in there. That means we have like one big room yeah. with the drums, and then we have another ISO booth yeah. with an open door or something? or Sometimes open, but some usually I close them to, to shut off some of the cymbals and stuff. to okay. so get more like the mids and lows. Which is kind of smart. I mean, I'm using gobos in my studio yeah. in the live room and put the mics behind the gobos just again to get rid of some of the high frequencies yeah. and the cymbals. So that's kind of like the same thing. Um, what mics are we going to use? We're going to use a microphone called the Periscope mic from a Finnish company called Scope Labs. And they're pretty interesting. It's like an omnidirectional electric condenser, mm -hmm. but with a built in compressor. Fixed omnidirectional, you can yeah. switch, okay. Uh, but it has a built-in compressor that is super, super aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> so it is like a drum room mic, more or less? Because you cannot switch off the compressor, it's going to no. compress? Or what is it? What is the intention? It's a lo-fi? I think it's to bring out, I mean, you can combine it with, if you record piano or acoustic guitar even, you can have it to complement another microphone to mm -hmm. bring out some life in it. You get like this parallel compression stuff. Uh, and it sounds really, really, really cool. I've never seen that mic before. It looks like, like it was taken out of a German submarine yeah. <laughs> from World War II. Looks really cool. Uh, Inbuilt compressors, like it's weird, weird shit. But I'm really curious to, to, to check it out. And uh, yeah, maybe we should also add like a normal pair, yeah. normal condenser microphones. Um, and yeah, since we don't have a real drummer today, and we both suck at playing <laughs> drums, but he, he's, you know, he's the engineer, that means mm. I'm the drummer today. And just to make this video even better, you guys can download all the tracks we are recording today. Just stay tuned to find out what you have to do. Because I will take the tracks home back to Cola Killer Studio, and later in this video, I will open them up, import them, and see if they still sound cool in Germany and walk you through all those files. And like I said, you'll be able to download everything and uh, have a lot of fun with the tracks yourself. Here we go. So here we are at the huge live room of Hobo Rec Studios. I hope you can see how big this place is. Don't have an exact number, but it's over 100 square meters. So, and this is the drum set that I'm gonna use. Which mics do we have on the drum kit? Uh, overhead mics, I'm just now trying out uh, Vanguard Audio, uh, their stereo uh, condenser mic. Uh, really good results. Uh, I'm gonna have to get one of those. <laughs> and that is XY cardioid or? Uh, in this case, I'm running it as a Bloomline. Yeah, you can set it to Bloomline or XY. You have a uh, uh, Omni, Cardioid and Figure of Eight on both awesome. uh, capsules. And you see this is a very different way of miking the overheads compared to what I do. But that's going to be interesting. I can give you the short version of why I'm doing it. Please. 
I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to measure anything like exactly. I do, right? The, the thing I like with it is that you know that they are always in phase with each other yeah. uh, in, uh, in relation to each drum. Yeah, so that's if correct. you, I mean, the snare and the each tom, everything is going to hit the overheads at the same time. Yeah. Uh, what about the close mics? Close mics, uh, Beta 57 on the top snare, uh, bottom snare and the toms are on the MyLab VM44s. That is their condenser microphone? Yeah, it's a condenser yeah. pencil mic. I talk about them a lot. Because You've told me about it a few yeah. times, I still haven't checked it out, so I'm going to hear it today. Um, they take up the, the attack of the toms really good and also the bleed, uh, the off-axis bleed sounds really good. So. Usually I don't have to gate them because okay. just some yeah symbols comes through good. Uh, kick drum today we're using the it's a microphone from Dr. Alien Smith and for anyone who followed my channel you know that I've used a lot of stuff from them before. They make never like, heard of that company. Where are they from? Uh, Australia and they make like distortion boxes for microphones and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of lo-fi stuff and also they have. Um, a sub kick microphone. You see, Ulf is coming from 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 the dark side, from the dirty side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is basically two uh, headphone um, elements. In yeah, it. yeah, capsules or yeah. Yeah, and there's two of them, so both of them are in figure of eight, but they have a different sound depending on it's the front or back of it. Okay, so it's two outputs. No, it's no. just one, but you can choose to use both capsules or just lower or upper wow and you okay. get some different but we also have a mic inside the kick drum right yes um it's kind of a new thing for me we don't have the what do you call it the the flat mic that a lot of people uh, use pressure zone mic yeah uh, sure better something yeah exactly 91 i think uh we don't have any of those but at one point i just needed something in here so i have a dpa instrument microphone that you use for like acoustic guitar or violins and stuff. And you like. just throw it in there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, it, it is directional, so I just put it on a pillow in here with the front towards the beater. Okay, that is a very interesting setup. I got to say that. I'm really curious to hear all those mics together. But here comes the even more interesting part, and that is this what is it, a vocal booth or an ISO booth of some yeah, kind? Yeah, it's sort of an ISO booth. I would probably not record vocals in here because it's very reverberant. Okay. But it's, uh, yeah, it's another flavor for the oh, wow. it's studio. So yeah, now I hear it. This even has more, more <laughs> reverb in the big room. Yeah, it's weird. Interesting. So. Awesome. So, yeah. There's a lot of reverb, but still pretty short. So it's usable for drums. So you can see there's only glass, brick wall and tiles yeah I cannot even show the tiles but yeah tiles floor so that's why, why we have like a lot of slapback and a lot of high frequency in here yeah. it kind of reminds me of how my uh my drum room sounds um, really yeah because i don't have any high-end absorption in my drum room so oh, it's right. very bright and cool. like has this gunshot like uh reverb so here we got the microphones they they look like yeah taken from a submarine right awesome i've never seen those how much are those mics? Can't remember. I think it's like three or four hundred euros each. Where do you put the mics in here? Since they are omnidirectional, I usually put them on the floor uh -huh. because it's just unnecessary to put them on a mic stand. And also, you get like the boundary mic theory thing. You don't get all right. No refle reflection yeah. canceling out or something like the face problems. Exactly. You know that guy is weird. He does a lot of weird <laughs> shit. You see, so he just throws the mics on the floor. And, and uh, tell people not to walk on them. And tell people not to walk on them. And then you close the door. Yes. But you sometimes keep it open as well, or? Yeah, it depends on how much high end you want in it. Maybe we can try both. Yeah, like we can my, do that. Me, me, me playing like a killer groove. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> twice, and we record both. Of course. What do you think? The other pair, we want to we wanna have like a more normal sounding pair of cadenzas so we can compare it to those yeah. submarine microphones. I think we're going to aim over the top and go with the pair of vintage U87s. Oh wow, like original uh, ones? Yeah. So that is not the AI version? That is no, the... those are from the 70s, I think. Awesome. So the, the green. And that means we put them to Omni as well because... Yeah, that's the reason, because a lot of the regular condenser mics usually don't go in Omni, and I think those are the only twos we have, okay. that we have in a pair that we can put in a 
Most important question, can I throw them on the floor? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> we can put them on the floor. We don't have any stupid musicians walking around here today. So. That's right, only me. <laughs> Very professional placement of microphone. Holy shit, okay. You just put it on the floor. One over here and one over there. So we got something that I would call a wide AB setup, right? Yeah. In Omni. So let's hit some things. Here we go. Welcome to Germany. We're back in Germany. We're back at Cola Keller Studios here in control room number three. And I've just imported Ulf's great sounding drum tracks into Cubase. Great choice of microphones. Those Harrison mic priests seem to sound really, really cool. Um, but the room trick, having the drum kit in one room and the mics in another room is insane. And it gets even more insane with those submarine microphones. Insane. Remember, you can download exactly those tracks later. I'm sure you will enjoy playing around with them. But let's have a closer look. Here we go. So you see, we've got two sessions, one here and one over here. And this one is the closed door session. So we start with that one. Let me show you the basic tracks first. So let's start with the overheads. I have done zero processing to the overheads. They sound a little brighter than what I'm used to, but they sound great. Good balance, really nice. Let's check out the kick drum. They're rather special. So this is the first microphone inside of the kick drum. Without any cue, it sounds like this. I'm not the biggest fan of that sound, but I added a little EQ, just like Ulf did, by the way, in his studio with a low cut, uh, filter removing some of the boxiness and a high boost. And the trick is to blend this one with his outer kick mic, you know, the Australian weird microphone, which has so much low end. Just listen to this. Okay, both mics together. Sounds great together. Maybe the low end is a little long. Maybe you could use a transient designer or something like that in the lows, but I don't care for now. So this is the kick drum. Let's add the overheads. Beautiful. This is the snare. Has a nice snap as well. I just, the only thing I did is I try to get rid of some of the highs because up here, you see above 10 or 11 K, there's not a lot of information from coming from the snare drum, but you will get a lot of bleed. Just listen to this. Less bleed from the high end. All right, overheads, kick and snare. nice and tight but you know what the tom sounds so cool with those my lab microphones just have a listen i have no eq like no processing at all on the tom tracks really nice attack really nice snappy highs and just as ulf said the bleed like the off axis response is great as well cool so this is my mix so far without the room mics And what a shitty drummer, right? <laughs> okay, now the interesting part. Now the magic begins. Let's check out the room microphone. So here in red, we've got the U87s. And in, what is it, orange or something, we've got our submarine microphones. And they are both uh, volume corrected as far as I know. So let's start with the by adding the 87s.
Nice, nice. Uh, 87 soloed. Sounds nice. They have that beautiful Neumann mid-range, which really is nice on room drums. Gang, gang. But let's switch to our, what are they called? Periscope submarine microphones. And that's even cooler. So much compression going on, so you can hear the pumping of the compressor and it really ducks the initial attack and then brings up the drums in between the hits. So you get a certain pre-delay, like wham, wham, really cool. Let's switch back to the 87s. And that sounds a little boring now, right? Okay, and this is where we actually came from. So these mics give you like an instant compressed room sound. So cool. And I really enjoy the low end of those Periscope microphones. The Neumanns have nice mids, but if you want the ultimate beef down there, have a listen. I switch from the 87s to the submarine mics. So that's a lot of fun, right? But this is only half the fun because we also have another take where we can go even more crazy. Now let's open the door, the gates to hell. So now the second take where we have opened the door in between the two rooms. Let's start with adding the 87s again. Okay, you see it gets a lot louder. So this was 87s alone with the closed door. Quieter and darker, and this is open door. Let's bring down the volume a bit. That just sounds a little more direct, which it is. I do prefer the sound of the closed door, I think. I'm with Ulf. It just sounds a little darker. It sounds like having gobos in front of your room mics. But let's go entirely crazy and let's check out our submarine mics with the open door. Bumping, bumping. And the difference is smaller, right? They that, that mic works in both situations. It just has its own sound. Maybe it's a little more controlled when the door is closed. Yeah, it's a little more controlled when the door is closed. So, okay, I'm, I'm more a fan of the closed door and I like both microphones. But the one with the compressor is just more fun, isn't it? I gotta get a pair of those. So cool, so interesting. Um, yeah, 87s are a classic. Great overhead mics, great room mics, but they're always a little mid forward. You, you gotta know that. In this case, I just feel like the compression thing is so much fun. But you know what? You just download the files later and you let me know in the comments what you think. So we got four different options and which one is your favorite and why? Please let me know. 
So what we can learn, what we can take away from this video is that, first of all, it's a really cool technique to have the drums in one room and to have the microphones, the room microphones in another room. I think many of you might not have a big drum room, but you might have a stairway or a bigger room next door. So try to use and abuse that room as your live room. Good idea, right? Try that. And if you're in the market for some really, really unique and very extreme looking and sounding microphones, check out those Periscope whatever microphones. There's a link below uh, where you can get them because they are not only unique, but also uh, quite affordable, right? At least compared to, to a pair of vintage Neumann u 87 Anyway, here's how you can download those multi-tracks. What you gotta do is you subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. Subscribe now, clickety dig, ring the bell. And after that, you look into the description of this video. There's a link to my email list. And you subscribe to that email list. And in the final confirmation mail, you find a link to my Discord server, where you will find all the free stuff. This and IRs and other samples and multi-tracks and a lot of other stuff. Discord server, all right? Okay, once again, I know you're not the smartest, just like me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You subscribe to this channel, ring the bell, and after that, you subscribe to my email list. There's a link below. There's also another link to all the gear we used in this video. And very important, I want you to check out Ulf's YouTube channel as well, the Hobo Wreck YouTube channel. There's another link below to Ulf's YouTube channel, which is fantastic. He's trying a lot of very experimental, cool stuff. I know you guys like guitar speakers, so he's trying a lot of different guitar speakers as well. And he's just coming like from a different uh, perspective compared to me. But yeah, Ulf is fantastic. Thanks Ulf for having me at your studio. Uh, I will really want to come back and do some recordings there. Um, I think that's all for today. I want you to grab the tracks, have fun with them, play around with them. And I promise in one of the next videos, I will actually do a one-shot sample, I think, with that kick that you can download. So that would be the next thing I do. A one-shot sample for you. So stay tuned. Another reason for staying tuned. Another reason to stay tuned for staying tuned. I don't know. On this, to this channel. I'm German. I can't say it any better. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a comment. Let me know how you like this video. Let me know what you want me to do in the future. Uh, don't forget to tell your grandma about this channel. She's going to love it. I see you in hell, motherfuckers. Bye-bye.